Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are discussing about RESTful Lava programming model. In this video, we are going to talk about Entity Manipulation Language, also called as EMI. It is a standard API which helps us to access the business object behaviors. We don't need to call any uh, data request for consuming the BBO here. So that's why there is a new syntax uh, provided by the SAP which helps easily access the uh, actions or uh, maybe you can create raise a create request or delete request update request. So basically there are two uh, syntax we have one is read entities another is a modify entities. Read entities will help to read the uh, business object instance data modify entities which helps to modify the business object instance data. So if you are modifying the instance data, all your modifications will be happened in the transactional buffer, not to the real database. So when the when it gets updated to the real database, so that's where commit entities and rollback entities come into the picture. In the commit entities, it's happened in the save phase, which will update the database all the change requesters to the database rollback entities which rolled all the changes back for example if you find that there are some error in the program flow so you need to roll back those whatever the data updated in the transactional buffer otherwise it will become inconsistencies so in managed scenario framework will be taken care of a commit and roll back okay so this is the syntax for the read AML read entities of the behavior definition what are the what is the entity and what are the field you are going to read or it is all fields you want then you provide the keys so when you are reading it's a you need to provide a key otherwise it will not read so the key field is very very must here so the result data okay once it read successfully from the transactional buffer then it will return the data to the result item what if if the read got failed that's where we get to know the failed instances in the failed item if we want to see the detailed error messages then we can look at this reported item what is this read by association eml it's a very similar to read eml but you want to read the associated instance data so the the syntax is it's uh, pretty similar to the read eml read entities of behavior definition entity name you have to provide but additionally you have to provide the association name with the backslash and underscore Yes, uh, here you could have uh, another parameter which returns the primary key values of source and target entity instances. Alright, so this is it about uh, let's uh, go to the system and try to play with the read AML. So this is our behavior definition. Alright, so I have a class already created. So it's it's an empty class actually. I have implemented this interfaces IFOO ADT class time. So specifically I implemented the main method so which it help us to see the data in the console. Alright. So let me write a read. Entities of CA underscore task this is my behavior definition range entity okay this is my entity name so basically I'm going to read all the fields with the value of so here I have to provide the key fields of course
so the key field is task uu id okay let me give the key fields before that i will complete this syntax statement so what is the next one So once we have, we update the things in the results. If we want, we can check the failed data as well. And uh, if we want some other messages, we can see the other messages here. Alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the result in the console before that i need a key field right so what i'm going to do quickly is this is my database table the publication i'm just going to see what are the data so far we have four data so i'm going to copy this task uid Give it here. Activated and let me quickly store this. So this is the console which displays the result. You could see here this is what uh, we have given us a UID as input and what is the task id task name status creation date all the fields so we can do it uh, with certain fields as well so quickly i will just do the certain fields let me read task uu id and uh, task id okay so check the reason to one here we have task uid and task id remaining was not right all right so let's quickly check about uh, create by association so it's a similar syntax i'm going to read the entity task so you can see the what is the association here my association is item underscore item <coughs> excuse me so here i'm going to read all fields of the associated entities all right so the key fields what you're going to hear is this task keyword so the associated data for this we are going to turn search all right okay by the way i missed something here so entity task by backslash this is my association okay cool so I'm going to result here. Okay, result is already there, so it should raise an error. I'm just putting the result as here one. Right. Right. So I'm doing this. So I'm just doing this console as well, clearing it out. Let me skip this. Yeah, 
for this task uu id we have a two items task item uid and task id item id subtask name due date due time all data has been fetched so this is what is about uh, read and uh, read by association in addition to that i would like to show the link also just for understanding so i cannot uh, write this link uh, data on the console so probably i'm just making a breakpoint here i wanted to show you the in the debugging screen execute so as we know there are uh, two entities in the link so which has simply a two columns one is source uid and what is this corresponding item uid yes yeah so uh, that's it for today uh, hope you like this video have a good day bye